Hi everyone, this is Jessica, the director at the library, and today I want to give you a very brief under five minute tutorial on how to download books from Overdrive. First thing you're going to do is go to our website. This is if you're going to be doing it from your PC. Go to our website, scroll all the way down until you see Overdrive. Click it and it'll bring you right to the Overdrive page. Now I'm already logged into my account just to make it a little easier. If this is your first time logging in, Click Login. It's going to ask you for your library, which is Torrington Library, and then your barcode number. So just enter all of that, and then you should be good to go. Now, a lot of people ask me, how do I borrow a book that isn't on a waiting list? So a lot of books through Overdrive are on a waiting list because we share this collection with so many other libraries. So the first thing you're going to do is go to Collections right up here. And you're going to see that it has special collections, ebooks, audiobooks, videos, and magazines. Now, magazines, um, multiple people can borrow multiple magazines at the same time. So there's no proprietary issues there. But with ebooks, audiobooks, and visual and videos, you are limited to one checkout per um, person. You can't check out the same uh, ebook, let's say, to various people at the same time. So let's say you want an ebook. You're going to select ebooks and then click available now. This will bring you to the available books um, within Overdrive. And you can browse through, you can um, read a sample, view details, remove from your history, get other suggestions. Um, but let's say you really wanted Into the Water by Paula Hawkins, you can click Borrow. Okay, so here is your Borrow page. You're going to have a 7-day, 14-day, or 21-day loan period. I suggest you go for 21. Um, the good thing about Overdrive is there's no late, do, late fines or fees because it will just disappear off of your device after 21 days. It just does give you a 3-day warning, which is nice. So you're going to click Borrow. Okay, so you are um, all checked out. Now, if you have a Kindle and you like to read with your Kindle app, you can click Read Now with Kindle. This will bring you to your Amazon page, and then you would download the borrowed library book just as if you were borrowing a Kindle book. Um, but I'm not going to do that right now, so I'm going to click out of here. So then everybody goes, okay, well, how do I get to my book? So you're going to go to your account, your loans, and here it is. So then to start reading or click the book, you're going to click it again. All right. And you can just start reading. The good thing about this is it's going to um, pick up wherever you left off. So if you just exit out, it's going to save your place so you don't even need um, to bookmark it. Now this is if you're doing reading from a PC. If you're using the Overdrive app, which I do recommend, or Libby, you can go, which is the, the sister app of Overdrive, you go right into the app, open it up, and you would go to your bookshelf, and you would select the book that you would like to read. Um, now, I know I talked about um, returning the book, which is very easy, and I do recommend doing that because it frees it up for other people, especially with ebooks being so popular because we're all staying home. So you would just click your back button. It brings you right back up to your loan page. Click return, return title, and then it's all set. So you are allowed 10 items per account, uh, which is quite a bit, actually. When it first started, there used to be, I think, only three items, and now they've upped it a little bit, which is nice. Um, so you can borrow 10, uh, anything, uh, you know, a collaboration between 10 Kindle books, um, audiobooks, magazines, kids' books, everything like that. So this is a, a fairly easy way to borrow books. If you want to get back to your main page, you're going to click the little squiggly and then you can just keep browsing. So a lot of people say, well, what's the difference between Overdrive and Libby? And uh, there's not too, too much, same platform, looks a little different. Um, I would recommend checking it out and also checking out the Overdrive app. Um, and then again, you can see there are a lot of different items for you to be able to read and see right here where that little wait list is. If you want to place a hold, you can do that too. Um, it says you're number 74 on copy one. That's quite a bit. Um, but they will email you once a book becomes available, and you do have, I believe, it's 24 hours to borrow that book. All right, we hope you enjoyed, and everybody stay safe, and we look forward to seeing you when we're back at the library. Thanks.